Mrs. Feathers. I'm going to go over your grammar practice pages with you for the week. They are pages 21 to 24. This week we will be looking at run-on sentences and sentence fragments and how to correct or proofread them. On page 21, the box at the top reminds us that a sentence fragment is a group of words that does not express a complete thought. A run-on sentence joins together two or more sentences that could be, write it, could be written and should be written separately. On this page, after each sentence, you're going to write whether it is a sentence fragment or a run-on sentence. This should be review from third and fourth grade. Let's do two together. Number one says, she was born in 1945. She grew up in Maine. I notice that this sentence is a run-on. It could be separated into two sentences. I could make it a compound sentence, but I have two subjects here and two predicates. So I'm going to write run-on sentence on the line. <clears throat> Number two says, took long walks along the shore. I notice that this is missing a subject. Who took long walks along the shore? Because it's missing a subject, the sentence is a fragment. You will finish this page with the same directions for 3 through 10. Page 22 is looking at how to correct sentence fragments and sentence run-ons. So the box at the top says you can correct a sentence fragment by adding a subject, a predicate, or both. You can correct a run-on sentence by writing it as two separate sentences or as one compound or one complex sentence. The directions on this page say um, after each group of words, circle the letter of the strategy that would best correct the sentence error. Let's do two together. Number one says, my new model airplane kit. That is a subject. It is missing a predicate. Therefore, I need to be add a predicate. Number two says, inside the box on the kitchen table. That is a fragment, it's a dependent clause, therefore I need to add an independent clause to make this a complete sentence. Remember, an independent clause is a complete thought, so it is both a subject and a predicate. So to correct this, I need to do C, add both a subject and a predicate. You will need to complete three four, and five. Page 23 is again correcting run-on sentences. You can correct a run-on sentence by rewriting it as two separate sentences using periods or as either a compound or complex sentence. You can also use a semicolon to connect the sentences. Um, just a reminder, you should be using a comma before a conjunction to separate two independent clauses in a compound sentence. And in a complex sentence, with um, the start of it being a dependent clause, you need to add a comma after the last word of the dependent clause. This page says to rewrite each run-on sentence as instructed in the parentheses. Add any conjunctions or punctuation that is needed. We're going to do three examples together, one of each kind. Number one says, the ship left at dawn, it sailed to the east. The parentheses tell me to separate these sentences. I notice my first subject is the ship. My second subject is it. So I'm going to add a period after dawn and make the it, the I in it, capitalized. Period, it, sailed to the east. Number two says the voyage would 
be long there was I'm sorry the voyage would be long there was plenty of food this says to make a compound sentence remember a compound sentence is two simple sentences or independent clauses put together and we separate it with a comma and a conjunction so for this one I'm going to write the voyage would be long comma but there was plenty of food and number three we spotted a storm ahead we tried to sail around it this one is asking to make it a complex sentence therefore I'm going to add a word when in front that makes that a dependent clause comma we tried to sail around it so now I have a complex sentence with a dependent clause first and then the independent clause. You will need to finish this with only doing four and five. Your last page is of course your proofreading page. The box at the top reminds you of all the rules from the previous pages and the directions say to proofread the paragraph on the lines below, correct any fragments and run on sentences. Use commas and conjunctions properly where needed. Let's take a look at the first sentence and then you'll finish it on your own. Our class would like to make a movie. We need a few supplies. That is a run on sentence. I am going to add a comma and a conjunction to make it a compound sentence. Our class would like to make a movie, comma, but we need a few supplies. I corrected that run on by making it compound. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to myself, Mr. Casper, or Mrs. Oliver. And on Thursday, you will have your grammar quiz on run on sentences and fragments. Have a great day, fifth grade. I'll see you next week.